Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. Playing some more UBD AIP. Heading into Patriot's Blood this time. I don't think this map has been changed in any substantial way, though I guess it's fundamentally different because we have the UED instead of the normal Terran faction. So let's get into it and hope we don't lose too many Marines at the beginning. Lieutenant, hang tight for a sec while we clear the entrance. They've locked the door. Set the bomb. Go! Go! Alright, get in there, boys. So it's virtually impossible to keep most of your units alive here. I think you start with nine. We've got seven. I mean, I could try. I mean, I'll try again. See if we could keep eight. I mean, it, it it's not. It's not going to be that impactful having eight instead of seven. Though obviously, I'd like to try to. I'd like to keep as many as possible. See the way that they're streaming in, and then we have two that are derping. Oh, they have some that are derping as well. Once again, only seven. I'll try one more time. It seems like seven's probably going to be what we're going to get. You have you start with nine. And this this is always been a little derpy the way that this starts. See, like having this be the way it is is not not pleasant. Also, you know we can't control these guys. Hey, we got eight. Look at that. Duran has a Dragoon wireframe. Doesn't seem right, but that's all right. Let's get the medics in there. I wonder if they have Caduceus Reactor. That would be really nice on this map. You got it. Need medical attention? Okay, cool. I I've never in my life on the original game saved all nine Marines. It's completely out of your control. You can't can't control what they do. Access code denied. Oh, forgot about that. How can I be of service? Yes, Captain. So Duran being you got it. based on a different unit makes me wonder if maybe his damage value has right changed away. so that he's doing normal damage instead of you concussive damage. Right away. Where's Stukov? Don't tell those traitors anything, Harry. Wax em, boys. Help! On my way. <laughs> All right. What do you need? Seems pretty much the same so far. And the reason that that would be a big buff for him is because I think the normal, I mean, just the normal Duran does concussive damage, and concussive damage does the full advertised damage only to small units, so infantry. So on this map, it really wouldn't matter. But on, like, map 3, for example, it probably was making a pretty big difference if he was doing full damage to, like, Ultralisks, for example. You got it. I'll take care of it. Right all right. Away. I probably shouldn't kill these people because they all become allies later. I think, right? Yeah. If these if these ladies had Caduceus, that would be cool because it it was like it increases their energy regen when it's below twenty five. Is it twenty five percent or just twenty five? I'm not sure. Solid at a rock, sir. Another computer says hit any key. Well, which one's the any key? Security cameras activated. Goliath Repair Bay located in Sector 4. If we can get over there, we might be able to hijack those Goliaths. Are there normally this many Marines down there? That actually is going to I'm impact here. our ability to get down there. I could you'd probably right cloak away. with Duran. I don't know if that would set yes, off the trigger. Right away. No, 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 no. Of course. <laughs> Ah, so those blew up and they just nuked all the energy on my medics, which sucks. Of course. I guess that's what they're good at. The problem is, the EMP blast that they that they let loose when they die also affects your allied units. So you can't use medics in conjunction with EMP troopers, which I feel like just completely nullifies the usefulness of EMP troopers. It's good against like a zealots, but that's about it. Um, so I just don't see myself ever really making those. It's good against, again, nullifying medics here as well. I should be just leading with Duran every time because he I know that he can he can take the heat. Just based on the amount of damage he does to the floor turrets, which I'm going to assume are considered normal-sized or medium-sized, rather. I, I, I don't know. You got it. I'll take care Let's of clump it. up in case any turrets pop out. How can I be of service? Access code denied. Hey, who's messing with the computers? Oh, give me the damn access codes before I blow an aggression inhibitor. I ain't telling you nothing. Hey, I'll tell you. It's the... Farno. Access code 
Access code accepted. Thanks. Uh, oops. <laughs> Security cameras activated. Vice Admiral Stukov detected in Sector 8. Okay. What do you need? Seems again, seems pretty much the same. Is this the Goliath Bay? So let's save and uh, I'm gonna try this. This may or may not work. But if we, got it. I just very rarely yes, do I find it. his cloak super useful of here course. anyway. So we just move down here and we kill the right Marines. Away. Of course. Oh. <laughs> well, that explains that. There's a turret down there. So let's just send everybody. Right away. The problem is, again, I... The problem here is, again, being able to kill these units and get through them and then be able to kill the Goliath pilots on their way out. You can decloak. Okay, we should be good to murder these guys before they get to the Goliaths. Okay, perfect. That all worked out. Um, this will alleviate some of the issues we have with medic energy by getting these Goliaths. Oh, wow. I somehow managed to get that one loaded up. So these are... They're still 333. They're Goliaths, not Totus Ritters. Though I guess the whole idea is that they're called... Uh, they're called Goliaths because in the voice line he's like, there, Let's get those Goliaths, boys. Get down there and commandeer them. Which basically means you've got a... I'm here. You've got to use Goliaths and not the Totus Ritters, unfortunately. But these are of very course. strong again because they're 333. And then we've got the medics for Duran. Yes, In fact, I'm going to continue leading with right Duran. We almost lost him there. I'll take care of I cloaked him just to stop it. him from taking the of heat, course. but we had to get down I'll those stairs. Right away. Had to do it. Isn't there, there's it. an SCV in one of, of these. I'll take care of it. Right away. Steel Legionnaires are it. just good in general, so Can I'm not sure. I, the Goliaths are better because they're 333. Right away. Of course. Hey you. Get over here with that SCV and repair our Goliath. Don't shoot. I'll do it. Now call I think you need the Marines to trigger him. That's why he wasn't uh he wasn't reacting what right away. Okay, you rescue that. Of course. Reporting for duty. Don't I'll shoot! Do I'll do it! I'll take care of it. Right Again, leave with Duran. You got it. Never mind. Don't leave with Duran. It's fine. They're not 333. That's a good amount of units. We could have definitely afforded to not uh, take as much heat as we did on our Goliaths, but again, I can repair them, and that's what the SCV is for, so. Go and scout it out, buddy. The little laser reminds me of Fallen Angel, but I don't mean any offense by that, Necron. <laughs> Comparing, comparing this to, comparing your mod to Fallen Angel. It's just the the ghosts that shoot lasers. All right, so let's. Uh, I don't remember if there are any like wall turrets. We're almost halfway through, and then the ending becomes a big uh, a big race to get out. And based on just based on the first mission of the Protoss campaign, it makes me wonder if the escape section is going to be like actually difficult. Because looking back, that was still probably one of the hardest, hardest missions. How can I be of service? Right away. If you didn't go super fast. Wow, he, see, one shot that one. He must have like a big damage, damage range. I'm not sure. Oh god, oh god. There's a ghost up there. Oh, probably a phantom. Well, I'm being attacked, but I can't see from where. Which is not particularly fun. I'll take care of it. Right away. Okay, sit down here for now. Yeah, it's a, it's it's a phantom. Of course. That was weird because I couldn't see or hear where he was hitting us from. So that's that was a little little BS, but of course. You got it. Let's just scope it out again, and also we should be saving. Yes, burning through our repair. You got it. Repair funds. Of course. I'll take care. It's all right. They're there to be used. I don't think I lost anything else. I'm here. Did I pick up an extra... Oh, the SCV. So, like, I think I picked up an, S an extra unit somewhere. Go ahead, I'm here. 
General Having Rogers. phantoms on this map is a little dirty. A little dirty. I'll take care of it. You got it. How can I be of service? I'll take care Shoot. of it. Right away. Okay, let them move in towards us. How can I they got Duran, service? but they didn't get one of my medics, which honestly is good enough for me. Of course. But what that's you doing is it's it. kind of forcing I'll me to sit and wait for a bit, to wait for more energy, How which is not, service? again, the most thrilling of of things to do. Right away. Go ahead, All right, Goliath's upstairs. Here we go. What do you need? Systems functional. Get up there, boys. You can do it. You can do it. Achievement unlocked. Goliath's upstairs. Hardest part of the game. You got it. Of course. Whoop. Calling online. I'm here right away. Let's just auto attack into those. Kill him before they even. You don't you dare go back down those stairs, Goliath. How dare you even consider I'll such a thing? I don't right think we need away. to cycle saves. I think we just stick to the one. I'll take care of it. Of course. And this is it. I'll take care of it. You got it. Maybe he actually is doing full damage to. Maybe he does because he's a he's dragoon. Maybe he does explosive damage instead because it doesn't. I, I feel like he would be doing more damage to the marines, or maybe he is, and I just. I, I don't know. It's fine. Okay, so let's just use up the rest of these resources or or the repairing because after we're trying to get out, there's not going to be really time to even bother trying to do this. Yes, Captain. Of course. Right away. Okay, in you go, buddy. You got it. Go ahead, Tarkov. Acknowledged HQ. Vice Admiral Stukov, I am here under orders to terminate your command. Lieutenant Duran, I'm not surprised. We both know exactly what it is that you're here to terminate. Get on with it. Say good night, Stukov. To hell with you. Lieutenant Duran, report your situation immediately. Gerard, old friend, you do indeed have a traitor in your midst. But it's not me. Duran, he has been playing us both from the start. He convinced you to destroy this side disruptor, even though it was our best chance at defeating the Zerg. And then on Ire. He allowed the Zerg to overrun us, even as we had the fugitives in our grasp. I came here to activate the one hope we have of defeating them. And you killed me for it. <laughs> Duran is your enemy, Gerard. I suspect that he may even be infested as well. Use the disruptor, Gerard. Finish our operation. Let my death have at least some meaning. Alexei! Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Computer, where the hell is Lieutenant Duran? The Lieutenant no longer registers on my sensors, Admiral. He appears to have vanished. No. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Sir, the disruptor's power core has just been set to overload. In order to prevent meltdown, you will need to reach the manual override terminal and shut the reactor core down. It must have been Duran. You men serve the Vice Admiral loyally. I ask that you continue to serve his memory by keeping this disruptor in one piece. Now get going, and find that override terminal. And that's why you always leave a go note. Okay, let's go. Let's Add guys to hotkeys as we go. I'm basically just going to auto-attack my way there and try to rescue whatever troops I can find on the way. Installation walls have been breached. Tracking multiple Zerg signals throughout the side disruptor's interior. What the hell? How did Zerg get in here? Captain, we may have a huge infestation problem. 
This proves that Duran's working with the Zerg. Captain, don't let a single Zerg stand in your way. We need this disruptor now more than ever. So they make you go downstairs and then up more stairs. It's it's just rude, if you ask me. Okay, and I don't remember what which way leads to what. I don't. Again, like some of these are going to be rescuable troops, and some are going to be. Here we go. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. So now we have EMP troopers, and let's just hope that they don't blow up and kill my, not kill my medics, but make my medics worthless. Tempting to maybe try to repair one of the Goliaths that's that's low, but I don't know if it's even worth. Okay, up to the beacon. This is kind of one of those situations where, like, I don't, you just don't want to stop. Never stop. Okay, let's see what's in here. More medics, that's nice. Thank you. So that they can... So that they can uh, get themselves zapped by my EMP troopers, you know? I mean, these guys' as frontliners seem, seem decent, but again, it's hard to decide. Okay, we're gonna have some more. Oh, we got stuff coming up behind us now too. You don't have to kill those normal, and then there should be more that come through here now. Okay, sort of force those ones to derp out so it all works out. I still have some resources that I could repair with. This is the Zergling hallway, isn't it? So let's just take. I don't have any normal Marines to stim, so we just gotta make a run for it. I think, right? Uh, SCV, I think, is the, probably the fastest thing that we have available to us. So let's just go hit the door, let them come out, and then we'll move our units in and sit at the end of the hallway, etc., etc. So open that, flee. I'm trying to get myself into a position where I can actually help here. The EMP troopers having shields is nice. Did someone me? Let's keep going. System and I could keep trying to occasionally, like, just toss some repairs down on this thing as he's moving. No, no, no! Don't, don't, don't stand near him, buddy. Mm. See what I mean? Okay, that's a hunter killer. So we need to, we need to focus fire that down. Otherwise, it, it, re it heals itself super, super fast. How did you even get up there, lady? Keep going. Our infantry's all looking pretty good. Save, because you know what that is. Go ahead, Fine, that's fine. We have two medics still alive. That was honestly the fact that my units were spread out. That all kind of worked. Capacitators ready. Okay, I think this is like the, the giant marine ball that we get soon. Yes. These poor guys have, have units coming up behind them as well. Try, I'm trying to get into position to actually help them. Okay, good work. Let me just double check up here really quick. Is there isn't there's a hidden marine up here, isn't there? Meanwhile, the rest of you can go. Yeah. Down the stairs. Poor Johnny. Oh, that's actually that's not this map. And I'm trying to keep some units out in front so that when the inve inevitable infested Terran comes and hits me. Get down there, boys. These Goliaths are still very useful. Ahead, 
Okay, let's reset our hotkeys. Get in there, get in there. Huge group of Zerglings. They're coming up from behind. Three, and then you guys can be four. Let's go ahead and save because I'm expecting some infested Terrans soon. Any any time now. I think we're doing good on time. We should be at least. Uh, this looks. I think this is a dead end with possible units. I see burrowed stuff. So perfect. I see more burrowed stuff. Oh, wow. Well, that's a dick move. <laughs> that was a real dick move. It's just an empty room with a Toresque inside of it. I guess that's fine. Save again, because we only we lost like three units to that. That's fine. And we killed the Defiler before it... Uh, before it plagued us. I'm really just... I'm looking for... Infested Terrans that I can kill as they unburrow. That's it. This is just Zerglings to delay us. We've got plenty of time, actually. Okay, I think we did pretty good here. Well, the, you know, giant group here. This is sort of like a... I think this is like a DPS check to make sure that you still had units left. After all that. I, I think those infested Terrans are normally on the map. That's not something Necron added. Uh, okay, make a run for it, buddy. Let's throw down. Let's move out. Plenty of time. Again, I don't think... I think basically nothing was changed on this map. Good work, Captain. I want the side disruptor kept on full power around the clock. I'll leave a garrison here to protect it as well. Prepare the fleet to move out. We are going to the planet Char to claim that cursed overmind. And may heaven help your ram. The lobby is dumb this day. Nice. I, the, well, the one the one thing that was different was there was a, a trolley Torask. I guess the other thing, too... I don't, well, there there is normally a defiler on this map. That defiler was there solely to troll you in the original end here, too, and I got very lucky that we killed it before it cast a spell. Imagine if it cast a dark swarm over the Torask. I mean, a plague would have been awful, too. I think it normally plagues. All right, so on to Chain the Beast next time, which is going to be... It's going to be it's gonna be fun, but it's going to be long, I think, and we'll see how it goes. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.